Right, hello pipe smokers. TPC here, Mike. <clears throat> Got kind of a special pipe to show today. It's taken a lot of work. Found it uh, antique shopping. Um, it was in terrible shape. Talked the guy down, bought three pipes that day. I posted them on the Facebook page, Tobacco Pipe Collectors. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, well, if I knew how to edit a video, I would. Now I would put a before and after up here, but not that far along yet. <clears throat> there will be one on Tobacco Pipe Collectors page though later today. Um, put about eight hours into restoring this pipe. Uh, carbon was built up so bad I couldn't fit this down through. So it took some work, but we'll unveil it now. It's the Il Sippo. I had Mr. Arlie Kurtz build me a new stem for it. So obviously not the original stem. Did some research on this pipe. Comes from the first period two different periods in El Se Il Seppo's history. <sighs> First period, Mr. Giorgio Imperatore started in the late 70s hand carving pipes. Uh, they're made in Pissarro, Italy, which is famous for a school of design. Uh, couple other pipes that have come out. Maestro di Paja and Sir Jacopo both came from that area. You can see a lot of resemblances in these pipes. The bottom was just you couldn't you couldn't see any texture on the bottom. It was full of grease and oil. This guy smoked smoked this thing right to the bitter end. Cleaned up pretty nicely I think. I had to get it. I couldn't really even tell what it was. I saw some P's and some O's but it was so dirty. Just the hunk of briar and the beautiful blast was enough to talk this guy into letting me take it with the other two pipes. And This one definitely turned out to be cream of the crop of that after some hard work. It smokes pretty good. I've been smoking it for a couple minutes. El Seppos are still around. In 1995 a gentleman by the name of Franco Rossi joined Giorgio. Giorgio later retired in the late 90s I believe and Franco with his sister continues to make these pipes by themselves. Great smoking pipe so far. And with Nutty Cut, a nice aromatic clean the heck out of it. Got some good bourbon whiskey and once I got that bowl sanded down inside, couldn't use a regular reamer because you couldn't fit a reamer in it. Um, broke it up enough I could get my Dremel tool in and sand it down. Previous owner obviously enjoyed this pipe, just didn't do any upkeep to it that we all know is very important if you want to keep a pipe around for a while. That's a good smoker. Take this time now to uh, to thank everybody. We're still growing. Both sites. Facebook. More people involved. We're getting some really 
interesting content put on. A lot of pipe makers I didn't know existed are putting out some amazing pieces, and they're been kind enough to share them on the page. Uh, this YouTube thing kind of shocks me a little bit. It's boring as I am, but I just love pipes, so there's a lot of other people out there that do. The community as a whole is pretty amazing. It's, uh, if everybody smoked a pipe, I don't think there would be a war. I really don't. I haven't met a pipe smoker yet that I don't like. I'm, I'm sure there's a handful of the snooties, but um, I'm going to take this opportunity to give something back to the community. For every for every view this video gets, I'm going to donate one dollar to the tinderbox in Salt Lake City to help free the pipes with no homes. I'll take care of them. I've got a, uh, a little corral in my house I showed last week where they can roam free and and you can use them what they're for. Smoke them. That's Dunhill Man UK puts so eloquently in his videos. Pleased with the pipe. That foundation, Save the Pipes, means a lot to me. I just started it just now. But it sounds good. I like it. Free the Pipes. This one was ready to be put to sleep, I'll be honest with you. Little tender loving care here at the Lancaster Corral TPC Great Blast Giorgio was a architect I believe I wish I could date this one better I do know it's first period which goes from late 70's early 90's my guess is this is an earlier pipe in that era uh, just just beautiful I'm so glad I was able to bring it back to its original beauty it's going to make a nice addition to the collection well keep watching the videos keep checking out our uh, Facebook page We'll keep doing this stuff as long as people keep watching it and caring. Um, again, there's such a great community out there, I have no doubt. People don't stop caring. I know I appreciate people that just love pipes and love the hobby. And I know there's plenty of people out there as well. Um, I think that's about it. I'll continue to smoke this pipe. You guys continue to smoke your pipes. Um, quick shout again to the uh, Botscast guys. Uh, great friends of the page. Jessica, Blast, Dannon. Uh, <coughs> last interview, she shouted out the page, and she is a contributor to the page. We love the questions she brings up. They're good. Um, Friends of Briar on Twitter. Great bunch. D. Patrick, 1As, um, firing up a new, a new pipe forum. It's in, in its infancy now. Um, there's some links to it on our... Facebook page. Other than that, uh, keep smoking your pipes and uh, appreciate all the support. Johan, thanks for all the help. Adam and Ken, TPC.